The mining echo is hands down my favorite echo to use in game like by far and today i'm going to show you my dueling deck what i use to just pump myself up the ranks after getting that reset that happened at the start of this season i know a lot of you are very very annoyed by that i am as well it does take a very long time to get back up to where you were before if you were in magic awakened or close to it it'll take you a very very long time on that note i'm going to show you my exact hermione deck i'm going to tell you all of the pros and the cons for this deck not only why she's good i'm going to tell you what counters her too hard and how to try and avoid that when you get into battle so let's go and have a look so here it is this is my deck as you can see level 11 is my top card i've got a plus one on the thunder over there but level 11 the whole way through and i was three battles off making magic awaken last se season and hermione was my main used card i did use a bella deck newt and i tried a few different other things but mainly it was hermione that got used for me so i'll start over on the left we've got prior encanto this is hands down one of the most influential cards in this whole deck. It lets you do a doubled lightning or a doubled obscurus. Even incendio can be used twice. Really good for taking down your opposition's summons that come at you. Those locomotives, see you later. We've got a pungo and broomstick, which absolutely go hand in hand together. That just does that damage to your opponent straight off the bat. And these two, 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 and two, that all adds up to getting Hermione's skill to proc and lower the cost of this Thunder and Obscurus down to three. This is absolutely paramount for this whole deck. So you want to be, as soon as you load in, if you've got a Pungo, if you've got Broomstick, if you've got Expulsio, you just want to throw those at your opponent. Your Nebulous, you can kind of hold back and use that as a counter if they've got Lightning. If that's all you got in your deck, then I would be using that at the start. So the Broomstick and Expulsio, these are here in case your opponent nebuluses whilst you've got your Thunder going. You can use these two to counteract that. Also Incendio works as well. So does Obscurus. But these two are the main ones, especially Broomstick with a Pungo because you go out there, you fly into their Nebulous and then your little birds slowly all drift off and hit your opponent one after another, which also causes Lightning to hit them whilst they're supposedly shielded under the nebulous they work so well together nebulous we use this when the other team uses a thunder if you want a little break from all the summons that are coming towards you you can throw it over in a corner and run towards that corner and then they'll just stop in their tracks hopefully all together and then that's when you can hit them with that incendio incendio as i said before it is just pretty much there for summons if they drop down their locomotives you run to one side run to the other side and they will should bunch together right next to each other just before they get to you, drop down an incendio, and that will nearly kill them fully in one incendio hit if you have it closest to the center. This is an absolute counter move to those pesky locomotives that get dropped. Obviously, when they're with a Hagrid, they may get raised up a little bit, and then you've got to take them down a little bit more. And that's where if you've got a prior encanto, you may be able to double incendio and just take them out straight there on the spot. So I'll move up to our big, big Punisher cards. We've got Obscurus. I play this more as a trap card. I'm starting to use it even more than what I did before, but I used to just hold back on this and then jump on my opponent once I see the chance. When I see them, once they've done an Obscurus or it looks like they've kind of hid themselves into a corner, then I attack with Obscurus. I don't just go willy-nilly for it because it is a waste of a card if you just throw it out there and they're on the move and away they go. The big boy, Thunder, at the end, this is your absolute massive damage card and you want to be throwing that out with Hermione, getting the double Thunder if you are lucky. Sometimes it comes around that Prior Encanto is your next card, plus you hit Hermione's skill proc, so it comes down to four and you can get a triple Thunder pretty much, like really fast. And if your Hermione companion stays alive for a little bit longer, or long enough that you can use another skill, then you can Obscurus onto your opponent and get a double Obscurus. So that means within that 10 second window, you've hit three Lightnings and two Obscurus straight onto your opponent. This will absolutely flip the script on the game and just lay down those nukes on your opponent. They won't be able to come back for that. I've done this once before and I think I did 2,600 in damage. That is absolutely absurd. 2,600 damage in like 10 seconds. I went from being a thousand points like behind to being in front by 1500 and pretty much only one more attack to win. It is an absolute gun move if you can get this off. 
So we start with Cassandra and she just goes into a bottom corner and she is mainly there just to deal with summons. If your locomotives or other companions are what are coming towards you, just go back into there. Use an incendio when they're coming towards you, some Apungos, just to get a bit more damage and then she'll do the rest, lightening them off. Try and keep her alive as long as possible. And she's also... A little scapegoat your opponent kind of has to take them down before they can focus on you otherwise you just keep running into there and their summons do nothing as i said we've got hermione next and she is saved for pretty much thunder you can use obscurus with her and double obscurus but i'd rather do a double lightning and then when she comes around to a second move that's when you double obscurus or obscurus with her doing obscurus as well this pretty much counters nearly anything unless there's heaps of summons on the board then lightning isn't really as effective same with obscurus because you're hitting more people than just your opponent and then we got ron at the end just to clean up heaps of summons and just do that last little bit of damage so the biggest downside of this whole deck is if you're against like a newt neville or some hagrid kind of decks like heavy heavy summon decks and you're not and you don't get on the front foot you can really get overrun by summons really, really fast because you don't have this big AoE of damage. You've got Incendio, which does a little bit, not that much. Obscurus is a single target AoE, so it does an AoE area, but it only hits a single target in there. And Thunder does the whole board and hits single targets everywhere. So if you've got, if you're against like 10 summons at a time, you're really not going to do any damage to them and this you just get overrun so that is the biggest downside to this whole deck some bella decks can be a fairly big counter as well because if they get on the front foot and just lay down their attacks really fast and they get off a death eater really fast and you don't have an incendio ready then they will take you down but you really need to have incendio ready so you can just take that death eater out get rid of it straight off the bat or you can play around with it and you broomstick past the death eater make it use its crucio and then because you've gone too far, it'll stop this Crucio, and then it only does single attacks, giving you a little bit more time to take it down. Dexis you're really good against is any that do Avocado and try and get the kills on the summons, so then they can one-shot you. you. You absolutely ruin them, because they don't have any way of doing damage to you other than just little Avocados, which do nothing. Like, it's, it's serious. Because you don't have any companions or summons for them to just knock off, or enough of them to get to full proc so they can one-shot you, the Dobby decks that have Avocado and anyone else, they just got no chance. Most Bella decks you can handle really well. You just need to get on top. You need to kill their summons as fast as possible, and just not let them get their Death Eaters out. And if they do, kill them straight away. Incendios or Expulsios, or throw your broomstick, go past them, let them do their Crucio, and then you're too far away so they stop. Harry decks are very hard. You just really need to play into your own hands and not let them hit you with Expelliarmus. That absolutely melts if it hits you. You just always need to be on the move and really, really cautious about which way you're going and how you're moving around so you don't move too much. You can usually handle other Hermione decks unless they are really good at playing them as well. It's really about whoever gets on top or whoever counters the other person a lot better like if they're using nebulous not to use your lightning at that time you know things like that if they're a whiz bang user you need to be on the move or have your broomstick ready to get out of the incarcerus little things like that to just kind of get on top of your opponent so this is just one iteration of a hermione deck obviously you've got the other whiz bang incarcerus or whiz bang inflatus decks that are very very rampant as well so if you do want to go down that route these last two just switch for incarcerus and whiz bangs and away you go it does take a little bit more practice to get the whiz bang and incarcerus or inflatus whichever one you want to use to get them at the right spot at the right time there you have it there's the deck let's go and have a look at some jewels that i did not very long ago obviously i'm not all the way up into grandmaster or magic awaken yet because it takes such a long time to get up there but i'm going to show you two good ones and then one where i got overrun so make sure you have a look at that one so you can see what may be the troubles you have if you do go with this deck here we go we're going to start off with this one and as you can see they are using a bella deck this is a great first one to show you because bella decks are everywhere and you'll see straight away i missed that in obscurus like amazing that was the best move i could have done at the start but now I know that they're going to be using Obscurus. And this is why I don't use Obscurus just flippantly. Because once I know the opponent has Obscurus in their back pocket, I know that I have to counter it. As you can see, that Lightning just absolutely smashes them. They obviously don't have Nebulous because they didn't use it. As you can see, they're going to have to go against my Cassandra there and take it down. And that is the place where I put it every time. Sometimes you go up to the top. That Obscurus right there, we'll, we'll just go back that 10 seconds. So I, I use my first Obscurus here. Have a look where they're standing. They are right in that very, very back corner. So bang, I hit them pretty much 
every time. I hit them for every time. So if they go into this back corner, you know that you can use Obscurus to your advantage. Look at that. They had Lightning. I knew that there was something like that, and that's why I had my Obs that's why I had my Nebula sitting there just in case. I missed all their Lightning. They went for an Obscurus again, and we Broomstick right out of the way. Broomstick is an absolute amazing, amazing card for this. And as soon as they do that Obscurus, you need to go on the front foot. I did. I put down a double lightning and just absolutely started melting them because you get more damage. As you can see, they got their Death Eaters up very soon. Like only one or two more attacks. I've got my Incendio down the bottom. I'm just leaving that there. I'm getting ready to play that as soon as they get their Death Eater down like this. Oh, I played lightning first. I probably should have played... Incendio to kill it, but I knew that I would have had enough time to go bang get rid of it before it even had a chance Because it was he was right on the back line. Usually if you're gonna have the Death Eaters you'll walk to the front He just had no, nothing left. I don't know how that didn't kill him, but it did eventually But as you can see that's a Bella deck. I counted at them perfectly straight off the bat They Obscurist. I got my broomstick got out of the way did not let myself get hit by Obscurus too much. And when they were in certain positions, that's when I hit him with Obscurus. I waited my time. I used my Hermione and my Lightning at a really good time. And it absolutely melted them. As you can see, when you use these at the right times, you do take off so much damage and get on the upper, upper hand. And then they start doing silly things. So that's why I love coming out of the gate really fast and getting on top of the opponent before they even know what's going on. Here we are. The next one here, I'm pretty sure this is a Snape deck. We'll see in a very, very quick second. I don't know why I used Incendio then. That was just a waste of time. I kind of made them use a move. But as you can see, they dropped Kevin down. I got out of the way of that Obscurus. They were obviously aiming for Cassandra to get rid of her so they can drop their Time Turners down. Boom, they're in their Nebulous right now. I have an Expulsio as my next card. So I just used an Apungo. Get that out of the way. Get them out of that Nebulous. Not, I probably took a little bit long. But my main factor here, you need to take down Kevin as fast as possible. You need to get rid of Kevin because once they get their attacks up full, then you have no hope. Like, you have to play so differently if that happens. You can see it was a bit of a weird deck because they did have a fair few summons. I don't know what they were doing. Obviously, because I'm halfway through diamond or whatever right now there is some weird decks you're coming up against because people have been pushed all the way back as you can see we've got rid of kevin i know they have a nebulous i know they have obscurus look at that i pretty much avoided it straight away and got back at them and hit them five or six times before they even got out of the circle perfect perfect use as you see we've got hermione up now we are just about to have our lightning up we're going to reduce that down to three and just wait, bite our time, bang, Hermione, bang, lightning. The, harder, the worst thing is they did have Manticore moves, but I have Expulsio. Get them out of, their, out of their bubble and absolutely lay down the nukes. When a Ron comes out, that is when you want to Expulsio him as soon as possible. If you don't have any other summons on the field, like your Hermione or Cassandra or anything, they will come straight to you, so you need to wait. But if you do have another summon on the field then you can expulsio him first because it will go very slow i don't know what this guy was doing because their first time turner used was right at the end when they literally have no health left but anyway we got on top of them early and they had no comeback to us i feel like they just again got rushed didn't know what to do and we got on top of them but that's pretty much how you beat that snape deck you got to go Kill Kevin as fast as possible. If there's time turners, take them down as fast as possible as well. And then just stay far away from Snape because you don't want to let them do their basic attacks on you. Let's have a quick look at two battles where I get absolutely slaughtered. This is against a Bella deck where they got on top of me really fast and I could not come back from it. So as you see, my start's not too bad. Get the double Apungo. I'm going to use the Expel Show to get them closer to me so the Apungos just go off. Get my Cassandra down in the back corner. And I see... oh. The Malfoy gang comes at me with bombastic bombs. Then they absolutely smash me. I do eventually get off the Incendio, but they've already done over a thousand damage to me and their Death Eater is already awake. This was a terrible start. I'm already a thousand points down. I tried to let their Death Eater off by going towards them, letting it proc on my terms. And I waited, waited until it was about to attack. Done my Expulsion, so it stopped. So I had a bit more time here. 
But it all just goes downhill. Like, I... They obscure us. They take so much damage off me. I haven't killed the Death Eater yet. I've been sucked into what I try to do to my opponents. I, I'm getting flustered. I'm doing silly shots. As you can see, they actually use Crucio. Like, no one uses Crucio anymore. And I didn't get out of the way. They hit me for the whole Crucio, which done so much damage that I literally have no, no chance of coming back now. Even with my double Thunder... My Hermione gets taken up too fast. I'd even try the Obscurus, but no chance from here. We're way too far behind. We've got a Neville deck here next up, and they've gone with the Dragon, and I just have no way of killing the Dragon fast enough. Even if I use my Incendio on a Dragon, the, the Egg does not die fast enough. He sits there healing it. I try and get it far, close enough so I can attack it too. Side along Apparition, he takes it back. And, as I said in the start, I don't have anything for big mobs of summons. I have my lightning, but it only attacks one at a time and just does not do enough damage. Obscurus is pretty good against Neville because you can attack that a back line if they're not close to other ones. But they did very well. They've got the dragons and the unicorns that come to me and just absolutely start smashing me. The best answer to this Neville deck is to, instead of having your lightning is to have whiz bangs and incasteris because you can bring them all together and absolutely smash them all with whiz bangs all at once to be honest i have thought about switching to whiz bangs but we'll see how that goes i'm going to stick with thunder right now there's your main pros and cons for using this if the team you're against is really heavy on summons you you're probably going to struggle especially decks like this like what what can i do i don't have anything that's high damage i'm more of a single target damage you want to get rid of summons and then just have your opponent on the field lay down your mining lay down that thunder and absolutely hone in on your opponent and just take the damage off them there that's about it guys hopefully you like this Hermione deck let me know if you use it and how good it goes it should really help you climb the ranks into grandmaster above that 8100 and then the game changes a fair bit there once i get up to there i do have a video to help you choose which opponent's decks to ban and which ones to keep in but we'll get to that as soon as we are there and i'll see you in the video soon